What's up, guys? You ever get to thinking about something to eat that you want? You can't rest until you get it? Well, me and my wife have decided we wanted some fresh oysters tonight. Tide's too low for us to get part. Tide's wrong, too high for us to go get our own this evening, so late in the evening. I decided to come down to the local seafood market. Carson Seafood, located in Barnum Town, North Carolina. Little old fishing, shrimping community, right down the road from our house. Picked up a half a bushel. We're gonna steam them bad boys up tonight. Stay tuned, you'll see how we do it. Here in southeastern North Carolina, our oyster season runs from about mid-October to uh, the first part or mid part of March. And uh, in my opinion, we got some of the best oysters in the world. I've eaten oysters from all over. Maryland, Virginia, Chesapeake, South Carolina, Georgia, Louisiana. None of them compare to our local oysters right here in southeastern North Carolina. Uh, specifically, Lockwood Folly. They got most of that closed nowadays due to some pollution. But anyways, the second best is what we call uh, stump sound oysters or topsail. So I took a little ride down to Carson Barnum's in Barnum Town and picked up a half a bushel. And me and my bride's going to enjoy a nice dinner. Let me show you what I'm working with. Look at there. It don't get much better than that. The only downsize to our oysters here in southeastern North Carolina is they're a little bit smaller, but the taste makes up for it. So this is a half a bushel. It costs $35 for half a bushel. And that'll feed both of us tonight. And we'll have some sides with it. We'll steam those, and uh, it's going to be some good stuff. So, uh, I used to go get my own oysters, but I'm going to tell you, it's a lot of work. So, we generally get a bushel, but today we decided to get a half a bushel. A bushel usually runs you about 60 bucks, 65 bucks, depending on where you get them from. And, uh, but I'm going to tell you. If you go out there on an oyster rock and start knocking oysters, trying to pick up a bushel, especially this time of year, so late in the season, it's tough and it's hard work. And, uh, so what's 35 bucks? I don't know what they go for in the restaurant. And I think you buy them by the dozen most places. But I can assure you there's several dozen in a half a bushel. Anyways, we're going to cook some up here this afternoon. Stay tuned. We'll show you how we do it. So I don't know about y'all, but I can't hardly get a bushel of oysters or half a bushel of oysters in this case without trying at least one or two raw. That lets me know how salty they're gonna be. Uh, a lot of the food police are gonna go crazy over this. But I've been eating raw oysters my whole life. Ain't nothing happened yet. I don't know if y'all can see that. Goodness gracious. Wow. That is awesome. You like fresh seafood and you don't like oysters, there's something wrong with you. Goodness gracious, that's good. Salt. Now, a lot of the salt comes from we ain't had no rain and I don't know how long. And uh, the oysters seem to get saltier when we don't have much rain. But uh, the oysters seem to, the earlier in the season, the oysters are not as big, not as big. The actual muscle itself is not as big. But the later in the season, like this time of year, they're nice, fat, juicy oysters. Which uh, I know some of you think that's gross, but uh, don't knock it until you try it. These right here are unbelievable. Goodness gracious, I can't wait to cook them up. All right, we're about to get them going. So 
Give you a rundown. Got the oysters in a pot. We're gonna pour just a little bit of water in there. Not much, just enough to make some steam. Get our fire going. Not too hot, don't want to cook them too fast. Cover them up. Probably take them about 10 minutes to steam. Uh, the way you know they're open, or the way you know they're done is they start popping open a little bit. And uh, you don't want to cook them too long, you'll dry them out. You still want them juicy and slimy. Stay tuned. Well, we got them cooking. Brandy's in the house making fried cornbread. Basically, we're going to let them cook for about 10 minutes till they start opening. I'll show you the finished product here in a few. I think it's been enough time. Let's see if they're done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got to get them off the fire. Time to get down. All right, time to dig in. Got Brandy behind the camera. Like I said, our oysters are small, but they're the best in the world. I'm not throwing them on the floor, that's going in a bucket. We always save our shells. These oyster knives made by, what is it, Toadfish? Best oyster knife ever used. Zoom in right here. Get right there at the hinge. Pop it open. There's your oyster. Don't get much better. Brandy's still frying cornbread, but I couldn't wait. I had to dig in. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. What they lack in size, they pack in flavor. And we got some cornbread coming up. That's a southern delicacy right there. Fried cornbread. Can't eat oysters without it. And sweet pickles. If you like seeing videos like this, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hunting season's over. We're we'll gonna start doing a little fishing. Some more cooking videos. Stay tuned for the next one.